This episode of Beyond the Hunt is my desert sheep hunt down in Sonora, Mexico. One of the interesting facts about this story that most people don't know is this hunt was a gift to me in the sense that it was my pay for going down to film Pete Shepley hunt for the world record Desert Bighorn with his bow. The plan was to jump in boats and get across the Sea of Cortez and hunt on Tiburon Island. That was where we were going to spend the most of our time. Little did I know I'd be there for 60 days. I really wanted to shoot my ram with my bow, but in the same breath, I had to understand that I'm under a fairly tight time frame. If the hunt is back on for Pete, then I've got to step back away and jump behind the camera. I'm carrying my bow and rifle and got to a spot where we had a ram that uh, thought we could maybe get a shot at with our bow. And unfortunately, that didn't pan out. And as he got down into the bottom of this canyon and started to work his way back up the other side of the mountain, he picked up a few other rams. They're working their way up the mountain. The guides are chattering at me in broken English about, you know, how far he is. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. And now, mind you, I've got a gun that I've never shot before was not familiar with this rifle at all. And in the heat of the moment, I get in the gun. I shoot and miss. And after that had happened, I just felt better just, okay, well, let's put the brakes on this. This is not how I want to do it, number one. I, I understand we've got a time frame, but I also want to be comfortable with everything that's happening. That being said, these sheep are too far for me. I'm not comfortable with it. Uh, we watch them work their way up the mountain through the saddle, and we're going to live to hunt another day. You know, I got to be really good friends with Sessa and some of the guides in camp. The common bond is that desire to want to be successful. We always had the same end goal, but we always seemed like we looked at it a little bit differently on how we wanted to get there. I always wanted to go up and get on the same level or maybe even a little above and push in on them. And a lot of times Sessa wanted to go up on the other side and shoot across. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just his way of thinking versus my way of thinking. And a lot of times we would start to strategize with rocks. We would say sheep, me, and strategize our plan with rocks. And it was a lot of fun. You know, those guys are good at what they do. And uh, every single day was a different adventure. I try to also live behind that camera too, because we take people along with us. We want them to feel like they're right in our back pocket. And part of that is getting close enough to really feel that emotion of the chase. And if you're too far away, which can tend to happen with a rifle, I'm not a long range shooter. And a lot of times you're shooting across the canyon, it becomes a little bit impersonal for me. And I want that connection. I think Sessa lost a little bit of faith in me after missing the ram on the first opportunity. But as we started to close in on this next ram that we had the opportunity, I was extremely confident in the fact that, I mean, we were gonna be within 100 yards, which is where I like to be. Boy, I started running into some bad issues with cramping and it started to affect my performance, literally to the point where I was becoming very nervous that if the ram presented himself in a spot where I had a shot, 
I didn't know if I was going to be able to perform because I was cramping so bad. Ah, gracias. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, man. No, man. Ay. Muy bueno. Gracias. Nada. Look at that. Look at that. 10, 11 year old ram right there. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> These old rams, I mean, they become warriors. They get to an age where they've lived through a lot and they bang heads a lot. They build character in themselves and you can't help but have that respect for them. I'm addicted to mule deer and whitetail and antelope, kind of western big game stuff. But I know a lot of sheep hunters and they're a different breed, they're addicted. And after spending some time on the mountain, it's probably as close to heaven as you'll ever get. And it's not because you're on the top of a mountain, but it's there's something that's just sacred about chasing sheep around in sheep country. And if you do it, you'll understand what I'm talking about. Hey, thanks for watching part one of my sheep adventure down in Sonora, Mexico. If you wanna see part two, be sure to subscribe, click like, and ring the bell for notifications for more adventures coming up.